Hello everybody and welcome to Naturally Kim's Knitting. I'm Kim and this is my podcast. Oh, a little bit about knitting, a little bit about chatting, a little bit about, oh, just about everything. I want to welcome everybody, whether this is your first time or whether you've been here from the beginning or you've just hopped along that little train that's somewhere along the track. Anyways, um, I want to welcome all of you. I love all of you. <laughs> Anyways, today's February 8th, and this is episode 269. You can find me online on YouTube, Blogger, Facebook, and WordPress as Naturally Kins Knitting. And you can find me on Ravelry as Napier's Knits. And then we have a podcast group called Naturally Kins Knitting, where we have, you know, lots of things, chatty things, um, craft alongs and all kinds of things. And then on Instagram, I'm mitten underscore Kim. Now I do have a couple affiliates that I like to work with. And one of those is Knit Picks. And in lieu of it being almost Valentine's Day, they are having their red, Let's see, their pink, red, and white sale. Um, it started on the 3rd, and they have more than 300 red, pink, and white yarns on sale. So check them up. Check them out. They're up to 40% off. Great yarns. I love Knit Picks yarn. Um, check out knitpicks.com and uh, see what you can find. You could um, also click over or check on ksnapier475.blogspot.com and click on the link and you know, I get a couple little pennies which comes in handy when I give out prizes. Um, they also have their 20% off of the nickel needles and you can save 15% off of their bare yarns when you buy it in bulk and then you can dye it to the color that you like which is always fun to do. And then I'm also um, an affiliate with Michaels which they not only have yarns but they have, oh, cry cuts, they have fabrics, they have, oh, all kinds of things. You really should check out Michael's. I like Michael's. In fact, I just bought some yarn from them today. I'm going to attempt to, <laughs> we have this lovely fireplace behind us, but we didn't buy enough wood this year. And so I've told my husband I'm making myself another temperature afghan. And I know this is the um, middle, well, this is the eighth day of February, so I'm getting a late start. But I've actually went to AccuWeather, and I've gotten the temperatures from the beginning of the year, and so I'm gonna keep my my average temperatures up to date and use average temperatures two rows a day and see how that works. Anyways, um, oh yeah. And uh, same thing with Michaels. Um, if you could hop over to ksnapier475.blogspot.com, um, you would have to copy and paste the link, but then I still get a couple of pennies. I like the way that Michaels does it because they actually give me the pennies immediately. <laughs> I, I, I like knit picks, but I have to wait till I have $50 of the pennies. But, you know, still, I, I like my, I like knit picks. Okay, now I'm, oh, Rubo's Teas. Okay, just so you know. I was, like, yesterday I sat there and I went, oh, I can't wait to chat with my friends today. I've been thinking about you guys all week. Ever since I said goodbye to you guys last week, I think all I've been doing is thinking about you guys and talking about you guys. Oh, and I do want to let you know, Envita, uh, my husband was going to mail your package today. He got it all wrapped up, and he put it with a bill that was to be mailed out today, and then he left it on the table. So I will remind him, mail it tomorrow. So, okay, sorry about that. Um, everybody else should have your prizes already. But Envy, the yours is, will be on its way. I will make sure it's on its way. Um, we're, we've finally been able to get out of the driveway and, you know. <laughs> so he really, you know, other than he had a lot of meetings today. So 
I, I can't be hard on him. He's a sweetheart. But I hope you guys have a few minutes that we could just chat today, you know, talk about knitting stuff, talking about just life. Because I just love it when we can talk and chat. And when you guys give me your, your opinions about things, you guys help me out with something that I just... I know, ultimately, this is my podcast, but it's not, because we have become friends through this. You know, I have Amphita and all the Lindas, and I have Betsy, and I have Fiona, and I, oh, I'm in trouble now, because I, I'm not going to be able to name everybody, but you know, I have all my friends that I've made through here. And I want to make you all happy, like I said last week. But I also have to make my husband happy. <laughs> so a general concession or get general consensus is that I will have two prizes per contest. Okay? Now, two prizes, but there will be three options. There'll be a Knit Picks gift card, there'll be a Michaels gift card, and there'll be a pattern choice up to $10. Each of these will be $10 or up to $10. Because I realize some of you live far away and shipping on an order like from Knit Picks or Michaels might be, you know, but you can get a pattern, you know, without shipping. So, after much thought and discussion, this is what I decided. So, yay. So this is what we're going to do from now on. And some of you, are, I may have said knit alongs. Um, some of you are saying, knit alongs? Craft alongs? What is she talking about? Huh? Huh? Oh, sorry. My mouse. It's been worked out hard today. Oh, I have... I, if I have had hair, it actually doesn't look bad. <laughs> My puppy is deciding that, oh, you know what? Snow isn't so bad after all, even if it is over your head in places. <laughs> Mom doesn't agree with her. But <laughs> it is 3.30. We've been out four or five times today. I've lost track. So every time I have the whole the whole rigmarole <laughs> and then she goes out there and we have paths dug up for her but oh no my husband <laughs> I don't know if it was him or she's just jumped enough that she's made her own path but we have drifts that are you know way over her head but she has jumped enough times that either he shoveled through a drift or she's jumped enough that she has now made a circle totally around our barn. There was a nice big drift so she wasn't able to get around our barn. <laughs> so this means that now she attempts to go down our lane, which is at least up to the back, her back. And if she goes down the lane, she goes in the field. And, you know, there's critters that are hibernating in the field. And today she went down there. I'm not following her because arthritic feet. No. So she goes down there and uh, she knows her way home. Don't worry. I said, hey, lady, after she'd been out there for a while, I said, hey, Lady, and she looked at me. I said, I'm going home. And she looked at me. And she put her nose back down. I whistled. I'm going home. She puts her nose back down. I used her whole name, which usually gets her to come. She puts her nose back down. So I start walking to the house. I get to the house, and I get in the house. And I use the noisiest door. She knows the sound of that door. And then I looked out again, and there she was. She was, she was weeping. 
She comes up to me and she looks at me. Because sometimes when we go out, I will feel sorry for her and I will give her a treat. And I'm looking at her and I says, no. No. You don't get a treat for that. Because that was silliness. But anyways, I'm sorry. I got sidetracked. Because of hat hair and all that. Plus, I'm sitting where I'm looking right at my dog. <laughs> Okay, so our two craft logs. Uh, back to back to the topic at hand. Um, we have a finished object craft along. It starts over every ever every ever every other month. Um, February and March is this open. We already have a few that. Oh, you had some nice creative ideas. You should go there and look. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, we have some that have entered. Some very beautiful designs that have been entered. Um, that will close, however. Oh, uh, yeah, I should tell you. To enter it, it's not hard. Oh, my goodness. Finish an item. It doesn't even have to be knit. It doesn't have to be crocheted. It could be sewn. It could be woven. It could be... Um, it could be a pot holder. It could be... Woodcraft. It could be, I can't think, any craft. It could be any craft in the world. Honestly, just keep it clean. I will not, I will take it down if it's not clean. I am a Christian. Okay. Um, but take a picture of it. Post it in the correct thread. If there is a pattern name, Please go ahead and post that there too, in case somebody might be interested in it. Well, Nicole, one of our Lindas, posted a gnome last month. I love gnomes. I think they are so cool. I've not made a gnome. However, the one she posted last month has got me thinking about it. Just on on me. Never mind. She might know where my mind just went. <laughs> Something between her and I. Anyways. Um, so, any, it doesn't matter what, what the finished object is. Just go ahead and post it. I will close it on April 1st. Use random number generator. I take off one number. Okay. There, once you win... You cannot win the same contest, you know, you, like let's say Lemma Call won, and then I drew her again. No, she could only win once per time, okay. Um, but, and whereby I was going first, first response, first choice, no, that's not a thing now anymore. Um, if whoever wins, just let me know if you want a nitpicks, Michaels, or a pattern. Now, if you decide that you want a nitpicks gift card for $10 or a Michaels gift card for $10, I do need an email address, okay? They ask for your name, but if you don't want to give me your name, I don't always remember names. I'm sorry, guys. I am fine if I see a face. I remember a name. I used to be a teacher. And I can, like, if I saw a, a Rebecca and I saw something about her face, let's say her eyes, and I would think something about her eyes and would, would remind me of her name. And from that point on, I would remember Rebecca with the green eyes or something like that. I don't have that luxury here. But, um, so, yeah, you don't have to give me your name, though, because I can always put down your handle. No problem. So, long way around all that, huh? Yeah. Anyways, we do have another craft along. And this is for towels or dishcloths. 
And that one, this one ends the end of this month. I try to alternate now. That way I'm not having, <laughs> I was doing the finished object every month. And so every other month I was having multitudes of prizes going out. Well, now I got smart. It took me a long time, but I got smart. <laughs> so um, finished object ends one month and our special knit along or craft along ends the other month. So the towels and dishcloths, I will close that on March 1st. I will have the drawing with my random number generator. Um, there will be two winners. And the winners can choose be, be from a Knit Picks gift card for $10, Michael's gift card for $10, or a pattern worth up to $10. Now, I will say, if anybody ever wants to donate a prize, we can add that on to or put it instead of something, okay? Um, or let's say somebody would like to donate a pattern. I can make the pattern from them, okay? Okay, um, as the other, as like, as like, like the other um, craft along, this one, take a picture of the towel or the dishcloth, place it in the right thread. If there's a pattern, please place it over there in case somebody wants to, um, you know, get a copy of it, whatever. I did that today. I found a dishcloth today that I thought I had the pattern to it, but I didn't. Anyways, um, and I will put it in the drawing. Once again, you cannot, once, if you've won it once, if you've won the towel and dishcloth drawing, you cannot win it again in the in same month, same drawing. Sorry. I mean, you may enter it 20 times only win it once okay I'm just saying cuz it's not fair to the other ones that enter I know oh and if you have finished a ditch cloth are you at you may be asking can I enter it in the finished object thing yes definitely definitely same thing with a towel definitely you can enter it in other people's as long as you follow their rules uh, that's fine with me. Fine and dandy. I'm sorry. I've been looking forward to talking to you guys. I tell you that. I just... I'm always so happy to talk with you. And um, once I announce the winners, you have... Well, I usually get... I try to give you a date. Like, the winners this time had until February 14th to get into contact with me. No problem. I heard from everybody. Um, if you win one of the gift cards, I do request that you please go through ksnapier475.blogspot.com to use your gift cards. Um, there's usually a nitpicks um, link, and then, like I said, you may have to um, copy and paste the Michaels one. But, you know, it helps me offset some of the expense of the gift cards looking ahead after we're done with the towels and dishcloths we're going to do a babies and toddlers craft along Yay! okay well we talked about some of the fun things that you guys can have are either doing or possibly could be doing well let me show you what i'm doing and i told you i'm working i'm going to be working on a temperature after Oh my goodness, let me tell you about that. That was so funny. I had ordered yarn from Michael's when I was in California last fall. It's hard for me not to go, oh, every time I drink Rubo's. I love Rubo's tea. Anyways, um, and so one of the addresses I have in my order addresses is for where Molly lives. <laughs> I wasn't paying any attention, I, honestly. I put my order in for what I wanted. You know, I got three skeins of each color because that's the way I needed to order it. 
and uh, put my order in, push, you know, order or whatever it is. And then I looked and it said, you know, being shipped to Vacaville. I went, <gasps> oh no, that's a, I cannot have Molly get this and mail this to me. I've got to cancel it. Well, I went to, you know, how under your account, they have a place for your orders. And I go to your orders and they have a cancel thingy. So I pushed cancel, wasn't doing anything. Oh no, oh no, oh no, push it again, nothing. Oh no, cause you know, if you, it's kind of like an elevator button. If you keep pushing it, it ought to do it. <laughs> it wasn't doing it. It's about this time. My phone rings. I am way off, I'm in, I'm in chatter mode. I will get to what's on my needles in a minute, possibly. If I don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> but my phone rings and it's duo google duo and it's whatever it makes that sound it's my grandchildren and it was my grandson now number one he called me earlier i think it was this weekend it might have been last week i'm not for sure <laughs> they have two cats tobias okay Samantha is an older cat. They had Samantha before Genevieve was born. Genevieve's eight years old. Um, <laughs> Samantha used to like me until Genevieve was born. Because I came home with Molly and her husband and a baby Genevieve from, from the hospital. And all, Sam all Samantha knows is when I came in with them, the screaming and the crying and the lack of attention started happening then. So Samantha has always blamed me. Doesn't want anything to do. Before that, oh, she loved me to pet her. You know, I'd come there and she would lay on my suitcases and you know, no, nothing, nothing. Okay, well, they have another cat, Mustachio, which they've only had a couple years. <clears throat> Tobias has never quite learned how to act around Mustachio. He and I have had a few lessons about how he should act around Mustachio. And I always think when I go home that he has learned. Because, um, I don't know, maybe a month ago, he called me. He had two band-aids on his cheek. Now, okay, this is a boy that if he hurts somewhere, he has to have a band-aid on it. So I did ask him, are those, are, are those like scratchy owies or are those just they hurt owies? And he goes, mustachio bit me. I said, why did Mustachio bite you? And I hear in the background, well, he screamed in his face. I said, why were you so close to Mustachio that you had to, that? Yeah. Mustachio goes to hide and that doesn't stop Tobias. He screams in his face. And so Mustachio bit him. Okay. Those fight, and he will wear band-aids until the scratches or the bites, whatever, disappears. So I noticed last week he had another band-aid, but it was a little lower, and I just thought, okay, the band-aid hasn't come off yet, whatever. So I asked him, I said, um, I noticed it today, and it was a totally on. I said, is that a new owie, or is is that the same owie? Mustachio bit me. I said, wait, wait, Mustachio bit you before. And Molly goes, Tobias hasn't learned not to yell in Mustachio's face. I went, 
Tobias is a mustachio is always going to bite you if you yell in his face. <sighs> so then, to change the subject, <laughs> he brings out this orange teddy bear. <laughs> and he was trying to tell me about it. And uh, then, okay, the phone had gone back and forth between the two grandkids. Some, uh, somehow it came back to him, and he said something about when I come out again sometime, he was going to show me something. He goes, so when are you going to come out here again? And next thing I know, I hear Mom saying, well, after summer camps are over, how would you guys like to go out and see Grandma and Grandy? And I think all three of us went, what? <laughs> So Molly was telling him, well, that'll be about the time of Grandma and Grandy's um, county fair. I said, oh, that'll be around our anniversary. I said, it's not a special anniversary, but maybe we'll have to have a party. I said, we'll have to make sure people are vaccinated and wear masks, but you know. I said, maybe we'll have to do that. I said, maybe we'll have Uncle Ian and Aunt Rachel, and maybe we'll invite Uncle Nathan and Aunt Jessica. That's from the other side of the family over I said and you know we'll just have to have fun that would be so much fun can we go to the fair I said well I think probably we can it's right down the road I said and you know our neighbors you can see her horses and oh they were so excited so can't wait we'll see what happens anyway so My podcast has been put off repeatedly today. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, though. I will take interruptions like that any day of the week. Then the doggy needed to go out again. Then I had a call from my health coach. The doggy needed to go out again. <laughs> that's been my day. <laughs> Probably the minute I get done here, or before I get done here, dog, you'll need to go out again. Sorry, I've been chatting for almost a half hour. I'm sorry, people. Okay, oh, let's see. Okay, I was disappointed. I thought I would have this done yesterday. I am on the ribbing, for goodness gracious sakes alive. I've got three rows done of the ribbing. I do 10 on Advent socks. And I just couldn't sit down and finish the other seven rows. I should have been able to. Anyways, I like this yarn. Even on a little Advent sock, look at that striping. <laughs> I love that. So, yeah, there's that one. Yay! I still haven't counted them. I'm having too much fun making them. Then, that's the Advent sock. I know. S sock for soup kitchens. No, they're not done. I didn't go to church this week again. My husband did lights. So, um, when he does lights, he has to be there at 7 o'clock in the morning. And um, he doesn't get home till like noon. And uh, I just don't usually go. I just watch it on I watch it streaming then. I'm waiting this way because our television's over here. So, usually, well, no, I shouldn't say usually. If I think about it, I will pull out my soup kitchen socks. But if I'm bouncing on my exercise ball, which is what I'm generally doing when I'm streaming, I work on Advent socks because that's what I do when I bounce. So I didn't get as far as I was hoping to. I mean, however, I did get pretty far. The other socks in the bedroom didn't touch it. I'm just showing you the things I've worked on this week. So this is where I was when I talked to you all last week. This is how far I got. Now, I am close to the ribbing. I would like to do one more stripe. And then I'll do my 20 rows of ribbing 
I've got enough yarn. And that's with making it a little bit extra for um, a little bit bigger foot. So I should have this finished this week. It all depends if I trust myself. At all. Oh no, actually. Randy leads communion this week for one service. I have to go with him to that service and come home. So I could take this with me to that one service. There we go. Still, I have to decide. Okay. Doing ribbing in a semi dark church. That could be tricky. Doing ribbing when I'm half asleep at night. That can be tricky. So we'll have to see if I get that finished. If not, I'll get farther on the other stock. Okay. Oh, my wicker work sweater by Michelle Wang. Got a piece of dark, dark um, yarn in there. The back is done. The back is done. Looky here. The back is done. And this is with my snow. Why does that armhole not look deep enough? That is the back. Those armholes do not look deep enough. I measured them two or three times. They better be deep enough. I'll have to measure them again. Um, anyways, that's my wicker work sweater. The back. I just started the front. In fact, I've only got the ribbing done and one row of the pattern. <laughs> so you can't tell much from it yet. <laughs> uh, I came out last night determined I was going to work on the wicker work sweater because I've been alternating. Either the wicker work sweater or my socks. Wicker work sweater or my socks. And I did the socks night before. So I was determined. We didn't eat. Didn't have a supper till 7.30. So I sit out here. And I don't know why I got so confused. I like to go back to the bedroom around 8. So I have plenty. Well, actually, Randy and I do Bible. Do, do, do devotions together at 8. And uh, then I go back. And I like to work on my sock at that point. Before I get start getting tired. So I had like a half hour, but for some reason I was getting confused about things on the pattern. It's like, oh, come on, how many repeats did you do of that pattern? You should have this down pat. So I only got, oh no, and plus the ribbing, some of the ribbing came off the needle and I went to put it back on and I got confused as to which way I was going because, yeah, it was just, it was, it was troubles where there shouldn't have been troubles. Anyways, I did finish the heel on my um, Paris sock by the Knitting Expat. I love these socks. I love this pattern. I'll be starting, I'll be working on the other sock um, starting tonight because I finished the heel on this one. Look at this pattern. I thought there was a mistake. For some reason, one looked lower. I keep seeing things on the camera that I'm not seeing when I pull it away. I don't know. But I love that. I don't know. The design reminds me of, I've never been to Paris, but the design reminds me of Paris. I like this sock. Anyways, that's by the Knitting Expat. Um, the yarn is by Chickadee Fiber Arts, and it's the uh, Goldian Finch Red. My phone's ringing. Just a moment. Oh, okay, well, that was my hubby on the phone. <laughs> I never object to hearing from him. Boy, the sun's moved in just that little phone conversation. Anyway, so we talked... I told him, I said, I've already 
been chatting for 35 minutes, so uh, after I show it's off my needle, I really don't have anything else to chat about because I think we've already said it all today. <laughs> so anyways, I will show you the Advent sock I finished this week. Next week I'll have, well, actually I'll have one finished probably today. Um, but looky here. Ta-da! Isn't that pretty? I hope that's the one I finished this week and not one I finished last week. I, I've lost track, honestly. I try to put the I try to put the finished ones in the same place so I remember. But things got moved around this past week, and so, anyway. Well, seeing as how I am now being blinded, and all that, um, I'm going to go ahead and close this up. Um, don't be afraid to qu to post questions for me anytime. I love it when you guys ask me questions and. Thank you so much for helping me out with my decision about prizes last week. Oh, you guys really did help me. Um, you are so appreciated. And I hope all of you, I'm leaning farther and farther over a windfall. Anyway, <laughs> I hope all of your craftiness is successful this week and I hope you don't make any mistakes. But if you happen to make one, I hope it's a little one that's easy to correct. I love you all. Big, big hugs. Take care. And God bless. I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.